Nelson Chamisa, the leader of Citizens for Coalition Change CCC, disregarded the people of Victoria Falls on Friday by attending a rally after 5 p.m. although the throng had assembled at 10 a.m. When he finally arrived at the rally at China Timber Stadium at 5.20 p.m., his party supporters they had been waiting for him for more than seven hours. The rally was scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. But some attendees departed because they grew impatient when he began speaking at 5.21 p.m. The crowd size was also largely influenced by the presence of children. In his speech, Mr. Chumisa asserted that he would defeat Zenu PF and other parties in the next elections and assured his party's followers that the cabinet would be reduced to 15 members with no deputy ministers. According to him, Harare will continue to serve as the nation's commercial capital while the capital will be moved from that location to another location. By eliminating the continuous assessment learning area collar and changing the current curriculum. Mr. Chomisa claimed his administration will reform the educational system. He said that under his administration, grades 1 through 7 would get free universal education and grades 1 through 6 would not be charged for exams. I apologize for being late, I was in Wang someplace. I appreciate your dedication to the cause of change. We are finalizing the voter list on Monday. In order to avoid ghost stations, we want to resolve the issue of polling places, according to Mr. Chomisa. We are only going to have 15 ministries, they will be lean and clean, and if you don't deliver, you won't become a minister. Deputy ministers won't exist. We aim to establish a universal government. Mr. Chumisa expressed disdain for the current system of government when he declared that his party will adopt evolution. Despite the fact that the ZANU PF administration, which is in power, currently gives communities and provinces more power through its devolution and decentralization plan. He said that his government would convert provinces into regions as well. Mr. Chumisa declared he would battle corruption as he paraded his party's candidates for the Victoria Falls Council elections, the majority of whom were incumbents who had been accused of wrongdoing by locals. He declared that they would reinstate executive mayors and stop interfering with municipal governments. I have heard numerous reports about unscrupulous council members. We won't stand for it if you strike deals to underpay residents as soon as you become a council member. We will attack you if you do it, so remember the saying, once beaten, twice shy. We will carry out our duties under our government with the dexterity of a butcher's knife. We want citizens to be respected. So stop your corruption and stop speaking for yourself, he stated. With their absence from the event, the CCC high leadership demonstrated their ignorance once more despite concerns that the party is gradually fracturing. Mr. Chumisa has been traveling by himself.